The key word for Auburn this year has been change. New offense, new defense, and presumably a new quarterback. So with kickoff less than two months away, how are the Tigers adapting to all that change? You know, I feel like this, the transition was very seamless. It was very smooth. Our kids are really excited about uh, the newness uh, of everything. So in that regard, it's been really, really good. I think the challenges that come with that are getting used to the system, getting used to you know, how, they, you know, how the coaches call a game. Uh, you know, there's the challenge of how much can you get in in terms of uh, X's and O's uh, with the playbook before your first game. So, you know, those are the challenges that come with it. That's the thing. It's still a new offense to a lot of us. We only got, I think, 14 practices in the spring and a spring game, so 15, to, to learn this offense. And a lot of it this spring was learning, and a lot of it this summer has been learning as well. So I think we still have a lot, a lot of stuff we haven't put in. The Tigers don't have a whole lot of guys with tons of experience, but to Corey Lemonier, having some young guys can actually be a blessing in disguise. Uh, you know, yeah, to prove themselves, ball out, you know, just, you know, go out there and just prove what they have. So they try to go out there and try to, like, you know, prove to themselves that they can hang in the SEC. So it's, it's going to be good. You know, it's going to be, that's the advantage of having all, the young Divas line. And the young guys aren't the only ones dealing with some changes. Tight end Philip Lutzenkirchen, who was a key piece of that Auburn offense last year, has a new role as well. I think I'm getting back to more of a traditional tight end. Uh, I'm still doing a lot of the same stuff as I've done in the past, being in the backfield and motioning around and uh, same, same type of blocking. But uh, I'm also more involved in the pass game this year and, uh, as opposed to what I've done in the past. But all three of those guys insisting that the Tigers will be ready come September 1st. Reporting in Hoover for Alabama First News, I'm Chelsea Messenger.